is tank i'm jay valentine and this what is it is the r&b money podcast the authority <laughs> yes sir on all things who yeah wow one more time who yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you see see you wasn't desperate you know in your spirit in your tone right you wasn't in the middle of a desert with leather on your body, mm. Hmm? Mm. sweating your balls off to team. prove a point. <laughs> hmm? Not only was your eyes crying, yeah. but your skin <laughs> on your whole body <laughs> was crying tears. That's you bad. ain't never done that. You That's ain't bad. ever put on boots Ooh. with a two-piece short set and like, turn the rain on. <laughs> huh? <laughs> on your feet. What? Yeah. You've never yeah. done it. They ain't never did it. You ain't never did it. They ain't never did it. You don't sit on the Mount Rushmore as a godfather. Mm-hmm. This shit right here. It's one man. It's one man. And that man is here. Yeah, he is. The God. No. Yes, sir. Not God. The God. The God. Created in his image. Casey Haley. Yeah. yeah. My God. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ooh, yeah. Mr. Ooh, yeah himself. Oh, Mr. Who yeah himself. Yeah, man. What's going on? What made what made you do yeah, let's start Ooh, there. yeah? Let's, let's start, start there. Let's start, start right there. there. Okay, we can do that. That's real easy. Okay. I was uh they used to call me like that. Ad Lil King, but but the, the guys did like yo, I go in, I go in the booth, man, just start singing, and I get, and I got tired of saying what I, the uh, the words of the song and stuff. I just I just put on in, ooh yeah, and it's a feeling. You gotta have that ooh yeah feeling. Yeah. You can sing Mary had a little lamb. Yeah. yeah. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Ooh yeah, Mary. She was like, Ooh yeah, Mary. Ooh yeah, Mary. <laughs> they do. They do say it's Casey, JoJo, Mary. Right? That deal, yeah. That's the, that's like the Holy Trinity. <laughs> Bro, I just. I mean, listen. I just gotta say this, um, and I tell you this all the time, but I can never tell you enough. Thank you. Man, oh, man. No, thank man. you. Nah, man. You have to uh, like, like I want you to like. Today is the day. You know, I know you're humble. You know, I know you're God fearing man. Oh, man. You, 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 you give all it all day. back to the Creator. All day. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, day. but when He gives us those gifts, it is up to us to be good stewards over those gifts. It is right. up for us to develop and nurture you're and right. work hard to bring their gifts to their fullness. You're right. And you you're did right. just that. Right. And in doing so, you created us. Mm. For sure, appreciate for that. Sure. For sure, appreciate it's that. No R and B money without Joe. There's no R and B money without Joe. Not even close. Yeah, we we tried. No, no, try. no, 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 no. <laughs> T- today, today, listen. Today, KC, uh-huh. you get to pop your shit. This you, is flowers. This is celebration. KC Day right now. Okay, then we did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We did that. Yes, yeah. you did. We was on Absolutely. we was on a mission. Oh my God. And number two, we understood the assignment. Yeah. When we first when we first got together, we had always said, we said this, we made a pact, we made a vow that we was gonna be the baddest, baddest group that ever came out. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I I, I made a vow like I'm gonna be the most aggressive yeah. lead singer that's out there, my age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My era. Yeah, and uh, hey man, and um, I guess like I said, we did that shit. You you damn right, you did it. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning, okay? Yeah, go ahead. I want to go back to me being a kid in a church somewhere in Wisconsin. I want to say racing. I want to say in Wisconsin, and we went to see Lil Cedric and the Haley Singers. Yes. Yeah. Oh man. And I watch y'all. Run down the middle aisle. You didn't walk down the middle aisle. Oh yeah, we for, for those of y'all who know anything about church, any any, oh, any of my church too. folk, 
court. You don't go down the middle aisle. <laughs> that is a oh, no-no. That's, that's forbidden? Huh, that's forbidden. Oh, okay. okay. You don't walk down the middle aisle. Next time, next time I no go to church. church. No church, so you better go down hey, the sides. Okay, next time I go to church, I'm going to remember that. You know, the usher say, you know, mm-hmm. show your seat in the back. Like, like mm-hmm. there's instructions for the middle aisle. Not only did they come down the middle aisle, they ran down the middle aisle. <laughs> to add insult to injury, JoJo had a bald head and earrings. <laughs> we said, what in the world? What in the fleshly business is going on in here? <laughs> and y'all proceeded, yeah. for lack of a better term, to talk about gospel music. Kick ass. Yeah, man. We had to do that too, man. We did that. So yes. how did that start? Give me Casey and the Haley. So go take me back to the beginning. All right, the beginning is like this. Um, well, those of you that don't know, it started out in Baltimore, Maryland. Our professional singing career started in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, my mom had a group. My dad had a group. I mean, Georgia would be around the house singing all the time. They had a, back in those days, they had a Friday night spade parties. Y'all Mama put, them yeah. had them spade mm-hmm. parties. I know y'all know about that. Yeah. But anyway, when our uncles and aunts, they be playing spades and all that, me and Jojo be in the bed sleep with it, which they thought we were, but we can hear everything that's going on there. About one or two every Friday night, and my uncles and them, they all juiced up now, you know what I'm saying? So they want to hear them little boys sing. So mama would wake us up. Like, it'd be like one, sometimes two in the morning, wake us up, turn our favorite gospel group on, which was the gospel keynotes at the time. Come on, keynotes. And um, <laughs> me and Joe, Joe would be Paul Beasley. I would be the lead singer, Willie Neal. Yeah. So, and Willie Neal was the um, one, like the, the aggressive one, the lead singer. So they would ask, ask us to make us sing those songs. I remember one night, I got bullheaded. You know what I'm saying? I got bullheaded and didn't want to sing, man. So believe it or not, my mother, my mother, I love her for doing this. You know, some people these days might ridicule her for doing it, but my mother, she went upstairs, got her leather belt. Talk about mm. the belt. Talk her about Her leather it. belt. Mm-hmm. And man, that belt. Got me singing today. <laughs> she said, boy, yeah. if you don't go downstairs and sing them songs, but them people want you to sing, and mine now, they was giving me and Jojo 50 cents to sing. So she said, if you don't get your tail downstairs, she took that belt, man. She used that belt. To this day, I never been shamed or shy to open my mouth to sing to nobody. So fast forward, like I said, my mother had a group. Um, from Baltimore, a female group. And my father had a um, male group in Baltimore Quartet. And um, my mama told my daddy, she said, um, I, I, I think you need to put Cedric in that group. Oh, that boy ain't ready. That boy ain't ready. Yeah. She said, he ready. She yeah. said, he ready. So she asked me, you want to be in your daddy group? I'm like, man, yeah, I want to be in the group. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to yeah, be in yeah, the group. Yeah. At, at, at 11 years old, who wouldn't? 11. Like, yeah, 11 years old then. So I... So my daddy let me um in the group. I went to the couple of rehearsals and we did that first gospel, you know, back in the day, called them programs. Mm-hmm. You know, we did a program. Mm-hmm. So when I did that man and um my uncle, which was the manager of my dad group, his uncle. So um he told my daddy, Oh yeah, that's gonna be our little showstopper. Yeah, we're gonna keep him. So by that time, like I said, my mama had a group, she had a killer band. So um, my mama told my daddy, look, I want to um, take him out, um, your group, and I'm going to get my band, because they was more contemporary, you know, all that players, young guys. She said, I want to take him out your group, <clears throat> and I'm going to get rid of my band and let them play for Cedric. Mm. So dad was like, right, we see how it is. I think the group, my daddy group, kind of figured what was going on. Uh-huh. Because for me, Daddy and Jojo got to rehearsal. Believe it or not, Tank Man, they had our papers waiting on us saying we fired. Oh, y'all was getting kicked out. Yeah, we got kicked out when they found out that, you know, little Wait, Cedric and the Haley thing was about to be born. But not only did they kick you and Jojo, they kicked your daddy out too. And yeah. <laughs> Hold on, what? You, you and your son. Yeah, you and your sons out the group just because of that. So my dad said, okay, cool. We got this. They handed you papers? They handed us papers at rehearsal. When we walked in. That's crazy. You know, I cried like a baby, man. Look, 11 years old getting fired? Come on now. Something I love to do, want to do. But though, 
It was God's plan. Of course, yeah. yeah. It wasn't their plans, because yeah. at the next day, here we are, my mom and dad, we, I'm, they're telling me what I'm going to, we got, my mama said, Timmy them, Timmy them going to play for you now. So I'm like happy, because Timmy them, they was young, they was funky, you mm -hmm. know? So I'm like, cool. That was the birth of little Cedric and the Haley Singers, signed to Gospel Record Label, which is Air Records now. So um, got that deal, 12 years old, did our recording, man, and little Cedric and the Haley Singers blew up. I mean, we blew up in the quartet field, man. I was like the, they would call me the um, <clears throat> Michael Jackson of gospel. Tell them who you were. And during that yeah. time, yeah. 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 And yeah. during that time, my rival was a little boy from Washington, D.C. He had his group from um, D.C. So Baltimore had a little boy, which was little Cedric, and that little boy I'm talking about, I mean, we went neck to neck, neck to neck, man. One night was his night. Next night was not my night. That little boy was Johnny Gill. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, man. Me and Johnny talk about that all the time. We talk about that all the time. Johnny would come to Baltimore. He'll try to make it hard for me in my town. So okay, all right. I gotta go to I gotta go to DC. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna you. Ah. <laughs> come see you. That's crazy. I'm come see you. So this is like 12, 13, 14. So he's been years. growling for a long time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Me and Johnny, we've been in the game together in the game. Long time, man. Long time. So powerhouse. Knew that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, Johnny was way back, man, forty something years ago. So was your father in in the Haley Singers? In the Haley Singers? Yeah, too? he came, he got him some songs off there too, off the albums too. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, well, and then JoJo, <clears throat> JoJo was like this. He's still like this to this day. He don't let y'all see it. We had to beg JoJo to sing. Hmm. We had to beg JoJo. That's to do. Dan had to do it now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But one of the coldest vocalists who ever lived. Yeah. 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 And then JoJo, then he got into it, man, and um, he had his couple songs on the albums and all that. But JoJo always knew he would tell them. I mean, I'm gonna do that, man. That's that's Cedric, man. Jojo, Jojo's more like he was a rough, he was a rough neck. Mm -hmm. Jojo wanted to go outside and play football while I'm in rehearsal ten hours a day in the base, hot basement, right after school. Got to go down to the basement and rehearse for mm -hmm. the album. And so Jojo outside playing, and if he got a song, he'll come in and do his little song, go right back outside <laughs> and play. I'm still in there because I'm so. I'm I'm hungry at the age of twelve. I'm I'm hungry, yeah. man. But uh, it all worked out good. So that's how the Haley singers started, man. What was your first song that took out took off? Uh, Jesus saved. Jesus saved. And then born again with the second. You have to be. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That, that was it right there. That was our, we used to call it, we used to, in the quartet, we call it drive. That was oh, our drive. Oh, you meant what? That was our drive. Dry, you, dry your cross cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that, that was our drive right there, <laughs> man. And then man. from then on, man, it just, um, we did those, we did three um, albums on the Little Cedric and the Haley Singers, and then the family moved back to um, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And then- what made, what made you guys move? Well- what made us move is really, I think, I think my mom and parents was ready to move back down south. Cause we had lived in Baltimore for what? Wow, we lived in Baltimore for like 13 years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but they wanted to move back down south. And of course they took the kids with us. So we went down there and still, we still had in the Haley Singers going. We still mm -hmm. was traveling, the group had busted up. But we still, you know, hire some new, uh, new musicians, the backup singers, and everything for Little Cedric. So we're still going. Mm -hmm. So and then, and 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 it was God, man. It was God because I was I was uh, I had left North Carolina and went to uh, Baltimore. I was gonna do a reunion with Little Cedric and the Haley Singers with the original all the original uh, members. At what age is this? Uh, this is age seventeen. It's like it's like seventeen, eighteen, one of them. Mm -hmm. So while I'm while I'm in Baltimore, Joe didn't go with me. So while I'm in Baltimore, 
JoJo plays a song for me over the phone. By this time, JoJo, you know, he didn't go back to Baltimore with me. So I'm listening on the phone. I'm like, JoJo, um, who is that? It's your man. It's this, it's this guy named Don, man. We've been doing mu- music together, man. You can't be in this group. Nah, nah, this just me and Don. This me and Don stuff. This me and Don stuff. Yeah. So then I go back. To, now, I go back. I, I meant before I go to Baltimore, I'm in. I rehearsed hard with Lil Cedric and Haley Singers. So some girls that came over to visit us, just before I went to Baltimore, I, I skipped all that. Mm. But some girls brought some guys to our studio. I was dating one of the girls, but calling myself dating. Mm-hmm. And um, JoJo was talking to one of them. So they brought up, they said, well, we want to meet y'all some, um, we want y'all to meet some brothers. You know, they, they got their own church and, and and they doing their thing. They 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 tight on the music, man. They good. Y'all need to meet them. Y'all who who are they? So when they walked in and they brought the guys in, so all I first thing I see is my girlfriend and got these guys behind her. So immediately you ain't feeling it. I'm, yeah, I'm not, not you feeling. feeling you not feeling. No, I'm yeah, not no, feeling no, no. it. I'm not feeling it. So and I see one of them go in the studio. Well, the recording part was at the studio we had, and I hear a piano playing. Now, by this time, me and this guy that Joe was in the room with, me and his brother is about to go at it. Oh. I mean, guns down. Really? Guns down. So anyway, we like he's like, yo, what's going on, man? Like, yo, you tell me what's going on. Y'all walk in with my girl, man. I mean, who, 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 who are y'all? Who are y'all? So then I hear a, I hear a keyboard, a keyboard playing. And I hear my brother singing. I'm like, hold up. I hear my voice. I hear my brother's voice. But who is that playing that keyboard? And his brother said, that's what I was trying to tell you. We the guys that they wanted to introduce us to, to y'all. I'm like, who are y'all? Who are y'all? I'm Dalvin. He's still and tripping. That's out the my girl. brother. He's still mad. He's yeah, still man. Out the girl. <laughs> he said, I'm Dalvin, and that's my brother Don. I said, well, y'all are the great boys. Like, yeah. Yo, man, we dismissed the girl. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what's going on now. Yeah. I said, Work God. Yeah. Work God. Yeah. I see it. I see yeah. you moving. I see you moving. So by that time, you know, then we met each other, met each other, hung out a little bit. And then, like I said, now I can go back to going to Baltimore because mm-hmm. I thought that wasn't going to work out. Like, that's gonna, a fluke. So I go to Baltimore. I'm trying to get my group back together. JoJo calls me. And um and he playing something on the on the um, phone. I said, yo, that sound good. What's that? He said, yo, that's me and Don, man. I said, for real, y'all did that? He said, yeah. I said, yeah, man, it's tight. I said, man, that's that's I like that, bro. He said, don't even think about it. Stay in Baltimore. Get your Haley singers together. <laughs> I got my own thing. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. Tate. I got my own thing, and, and it ain't the church. It ain't the church. It ain't the church. It ain't the church. Yeah. So I said, like, nah, man. So immediately. Immediately, I called my mom, I called my daddy. I said, I'm ready to come home. I'm ready to come home. I told the Haley Singers, hey, look, y'all, um, I'm going back to Charlotte, This man. ain't going to work. This <laughs> just ain't going to work. <laughs> I can't back. tell you why. I can't, I can't tell, tell you, you why. But I gotta get about it. But you'll hear about it. <laughs> but you'll hear about it. And by that time, I got home, man. And by that time, JoJo, JoJo heated. JoJo heated. And then all of us just started gelling. So. Then we but saw, JoJo really didn't want you in the group. No, and Devontae didn't want Dalvin. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, <laughs> didn't this want, is great. Yeah, Devontae didn't want Dalvin, so JoJo made a. But JoJo wanted Dalvin. Devontae wanted me. Oh wow! So JoJo was like this. Now JoJo, JoJo playing that card. If you want my brother Lee saying, you got to let your brother in the group. Yeah, let Dalvin in. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, it's on, and just vice versa. So if you want Dalvin in, yeah. you, you know, I need Casey. Yeah, I need Cedric. I need Cedric. Yeah, yeah I need yeah. Cedric. Yeah. So we got together, man. Talked about it. There we go. We do uh, We started doing demos, man. We were demo at uh, at the church, man. Absolutely. We would do demos at the church, like time we share those songs like that, and like the chords, like the chords. Devontae, a lot of that stuff was. 
written in church at Devontae Dad Church, man. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess Devontae Dad got tired of it. You know, he got tired of all that secular music being played at the church. So what we did, we didn't tell, me and Joseph didn't tell our parents that we had a basement, right? And this thing, you know, Devontae, my dad and my mother, they see Devontae loading in like 15, 10 to 15 keyboards, hooking everything up in their basement. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. By that time, they didn't know we they didn't know we was doing music, mm -hmm. but they didn't know what we was doing it for. Cause my daddy said, he said, I don't know what that boy doing down there, but all I hear is a lot of that sound. You know what that sound is? Yeah. Slapping on the keyboards, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but he have his headphones, headphones on. on. Yeah. By that Devontae was doing Jodeci's demo. He did that. We did that for like a year. We got our son. We got like So are y'all Jodeci yet though? Or what? Uh, like when does when do you guys when, become when we Jodeci? find out we were Jodeci when we when we when we knew that we had something and okay. we were standing in our we were sitting in our mother our parents yard man and and we was like what name can we uh, we need a name man now it's all four but we good now we tight yeah mm -hmm. man you know we need a name man we need a name so I came up with brothers and I think Dalvin came up with some things and then and then um Devonte was like. Hey man, won't we just put our name together, man? Um, Jojo, Devonte, Dalvin, KC. Yeah, we just put Joe, D, and C. Like, <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Jodeci, man. Jodeci. Jodeci, I kept saying Jodeci, 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 Jodeci. I don't know, man. That sounds too biblical or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but at the end of the day, we had a vote. Mm -hmm. We had a vote. We said, Jodeci it is then. We Jodeci. Mind now, we didn't get no, never did no talent shows in Charlotte. People didn't know nothing about Jodeci in Charlotte. First person, that, first city that knew about Jodeci was New York, hmm. and that's when we never got ideas. So, we, like I said, we got our um, demos, and uh, one night we was like, "Man, what's the money you got? Man, I got twenty dollars." Devontae said, "Well, I get some money from my dad, man. I get some money from my dad and all that." I said, "What we gonna do?" He said, "Man, we gonna go to New York." I mean, y'all gotta go to work, and I gotta go to work, man. This is like, a, oh, you uh, had a job at the time. It was my dad, yeah, I had a job. My dad, man, doing roof. My you was doing roofing. roofing. Yeah, I was doing roofing, man, with my dad, man. So anyway, um, we going to New York, Dad. He said, "Boy, you know you gotta go to work. You know you gotta go to work Monday, don't you?" I said, "Dad, I'm sorry. I, I, we we gotta go. We gotta go." And um, then we we was about to ask you, remember we was about to pull off, and my mama she just crying so hard, man, on on the front porch. But Daddy's still firm. Yeah, he said, "All right now." If you go to New York and you know you got a job to come uh, coming Monday, don't you come back here? It was I respect that. Yeah. So now the whole trip up to New York, I'm thinking about what my dad's saying. Like, yo, if this don't if this don't work, man, I, I, I can't I'm, go home. I'm shocked. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. shocked. And then I don't let my the Haley thing, that that's gone. Mm -hmm. I've been spending time with this Josie thing now. So and we got the carriage, man. We said a good prayer. We said a good prayer before we got on Highway 85 going up north. Absolutely. We said a good prayer, Tank, man. We never looked back after that prayer, man. And um, when we got to Virginia, when we got to Virginia, we stopped at a truck stop. And we said, hold up. Man, we can't go out there, man. We need an image, man. We need an image. <laughs> man, we, we went to the truck stop, man. You got what it is at the truck stop? Got the shades. <laughs> got the shades. We got the shades. <laughs> oh, start with the shades. Okay. We started we start with, with the shades, shades brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. We started with the shades. We wore our shades up to New York. And when we got to New York, and we rode around New York, man, for like 12 hours, 12 hours, find, trying to find somewhere to sleep. And by this time, you know, we, we on low on, we're low on funds now. So the first hotel that we saw by listening to an LL Cool J song was the Bristol Hotel. The Bristol Room Hotel. Room 515, you know what I mean? That's yeah. 
You know that was a prostitute hotel, oh, right? Lord. I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was so, waiting to see if you knew or not, because I was going to say, damn, that's what you did with your advance. <laughs> hotel. So anyway, we get there. Now it's all it's all, yo, it's all ran down. It's like like a oh man, it looked real dangerous and all that. So we were like, nah, man, we ain't staying here. We ain't staying here. So what we did, we rode to the drove all the way to the city and uh we found a found our best western in Queens in uh Chiba's hotel a night was a hundred and something dollars. So we took that whole hundred and something dollars for that room for that one night. Mind now, we ain't got nowhere to go the next day. We ain't even got no money for gas to go home back to North Carolina. That's normal we got a room to sleep in. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. what we did, <clears throat> we got on the yellow pages. We got the yellow pages from the phone book, man, and um and we looked up uh, MCA Records on there, the address to Uptown MCA Records. And we was like, yo, y'all, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna find, we're gonna find MCA Records, man. It's in Manhattan, 1775 Broadway. I'll never forget that. Yeah. So anyway, hey man, when we got there, we like, this is it, y'all. We're gonna look for MCA Records. So we rode around New York, found MCA Records, and we got to the lobby. And the uh, receptionist was like, who y'all here to see? We like, we don't know. We just want somebody to hear our music. That's all. Yeah. We saw Andre Rell pass by. We saw Heavy D pass by. You know, we like, we starstruck. So, um, and then we waited in the lobby y'all for like six hours till, you know, they were great clothes. And they said, y'all still here? Yeah, we still here. And then Kurt Willie came and said, I think, Y'all come to my office. Y'all come to my office. We got him Kurt's office. He, I guess they had a party that night or something before, and he fell asleep on our demo. And so we like, yo, get up. Yeah. Get up. You got you to hear this. You got to hear this. Yeah. He's like, I'm telling you now. My boss, Andre <clears throat> Rell, he, he, he's not, rest in peace, Jay. He, he's not going to like this. He's not going to like this. So we like, how you know? Get, get the man, get the boss man. We 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 was cocky with it yeah. from day one. Yeah. He ain't the boss. Just we, we ain't the boss. Let the boss here. Yeah. So Dre came in, and by the time when Dre came in, and no shots, no diss to nobody, but Kurt was like, "Nah, we 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 ain't looking for nothing like that. We looking for something like this. We need y'all need to be sounding like this. Like I said, man, no shade." No shots at nobody, man. Oh, that cat put in Jeff Red, man. You know, oh, because he was on the label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was. They, so, he was one of the top. You get what I'm saying, don't you? I don't. I don't know Jeff Red. See, just, thank you. I know who <laughs> <Jeff> this. <laughs> I know. Who, I know who Jeff Red. Is. Jeff, I found loving and all that. Jeff Red. Mm -hmm. Anyway, nah, nah, that ain't us. That ain't us. Nah, we ain't sound like that. We got our own sound, man. We got our own sound. We need no producers, none of that. So as I'm telling y'all. The um, um, boss man, they're gonna like, just get your boss. So he went and got Dre. Dre came in there. The song um, Kurt was playing was Come and Talk to Me. Then he played. That's the song he was playing. Yeah, then he played Stay. Then he played. Uh, yeah. Then yeah. he played uh, I'm Still Waiting. <laughs> oh my God. And then the artist on demo. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> then he played Back in the Day Every Moment. That was on no, all Sometimes this. Sometimes they just don't hear it. All this Sometimes on they the, just don't hear it. All this on the demos, right? So Dre like, Dre like, hold up. Y'all tell me that's y'all? Yeah, that's us. Yeah. What you talking about? Yeah, that's us. I don't believe it. No doubt. Okay. Okay, believe this. You know, I stood up. Yeah. I start singing the verses. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I got the pudding with me. And I, you know huh? what I said? I said, that's okay. That's good. We started singing. We did a little Jodeci. You know, did our Jodeci um, little, little, little um, thing we be doing, singing about Jodeci. When you think, when you think of Jodeci. Yeah. We did that. And then, you know, I did come and talk to me. I sung a little song. And, um, you know, and by that time, Heavy came in, rest in peace. Yeah. Heavy stuck yeah. his head in the door. He said, Dre, come here. From what I hear. Heavy told Dre, if you don't sign him, I'm get him. By that time, all I know, Dre 
He came back in the door. I said, yo, um, so where y'all staying? Where, where y'all staying at? I said, we ain't got nowhere to stay, man. You know, we we out of money. The same guy that was sleeping on us, his a and man, Kurt Willie. He said, Kurt, uh, pay for the rest of the room, the hotel room for the rest of the room, group, uh, for the uh, rest of the week. Take care of this group for the rest of the week. Um, uh, come on, y'all. We're going out to dinner. And Kurt, by the way, you assigned to them for the rest of this week. Oh, <laughs> First, you, I know you don't like them. They're yours now. Yeah. yeah. Since but, you can't hear, you you're you going to hear them for the rest of the week. You're going to no, hear them for the rest of your life. life. For the rest of your life, <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear them. So by that time, then we, you know, we had our dinner and, um, and uh, get, get back to the hotel. Yo, we gave Kurt Woodley hell, man. Yeah. We gave him hell that day. That whole week, man. It was like we've been in the business for years. Yo, we want this. <laughs> you ain't doing your job. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you ain't doing your You yo, heard what Andre yo, said. Yo, we, yep. <laughs> we turned into Jodeci right then. Immediately. We turned into Immediately. <laughs> and then, um, and then when I get back to the hotel, I jumped up up and down on my bed, man. I jumped up and down on my bed. And everybody, man, we was crying and all that. And um, I called my pop. I said, Daddy, we got a deal. You going to get me that truck I want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, they, the they got out. They, they sent Bob Celestin, which was a lawyer mm -hmm. for the label. So they sent them down with us back to New York. I mean, back to North Carolina and um, got some interim agreements made up and all that. And uh, Devontae, uh, fathers, his lawyer looked over it. Our parents looked over it. Said, yeah, it's legit. Mm -hmm. It's legit. It's, it's a legit deal. They, they said they want to do business with y'all sons. Uh, I think it's a good look. And we're talking today. And, wow. and then we took the world by storm, man. By storm is. But not it was it up. was it was that. It was that commitment to what we was doing, and that's why I try to tell a lot of young acts. Mm -hmm. If you listen to our story, if you listen to our story real good, it's a story of four young guys mm -hmm. that was that was committed to what we was doing and never taking no for an answer. Absolutely. Number one. Number one. We came up from the church. Mm -hmm. Number two, we were God fearing. Yes, you know yes. what I'm saying, and um, and we know that's why I look at a lot of groups now. Tank, I'd be like, yo, and, and they getting they getting these millions sold instantly without working, putting that, putting. See, I came from like I said, the ruler. Okay. You know what I'm saying? From the real that grind. gospel. You from know the, what I'm saying? From yeah. the dirt floor. From the dirt floor, man, Absolutely. and still going. Yeah, you know, still going. Like I say, man, they lucky these days, man. They no, it was, really a, it was just a different time. Different time. I remember the first time our group saw y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all was singing background for Father MC. Yeah. I think it was uh, Jack the Rapper. Yeah. I think it was Jack the Rapper. And we were on, we were on MCA. Our group was on MCA. And, um, and we were performing. You know, they would have those different halls and a different thing where everybody's yeah, performing yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. And I forgot which one we were at, but I remember we we liked Father MC. Like, you know, we was kids, so mm -hmm. we we loved Father MC. So we're like, oh, we want to go see Father MC. We're begging our dad to take us. And we walked in, and y'all singing the backup for him. Mm -hmm. And I just remember me and my brothers looking at each other like, man, who the fuck? Is that right? Because <laughs> obviously we want to go see Father MC because yeah, you know yeah. he's hopping at the time. Yeah, treat him like you want to be treated. Treat like yeah. want to be treated, and we're like, who is that singing though? Because for us, you know, our group, the Neutrons, we didn't come from the church, so we hadn't heard church. Only church we heard was like old school. They played at three in the morning when it, when BET used to turn into yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about. the only gospel we knew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> We're like, but they kids. They kids like us. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, man, what what the hell is that? Yeah. And we just it always stuck with me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. from yeah. that day forward, it stuck with me until y'all dropped y'all own music. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. we was like, oh, that's, that's them same yeah. dudes. Yeah. 
this is the next wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. And um, it's it just, you know, and, and then when we got the deal, you know, we still had to make some changes. Cause like I said of earlier, course. we was used to like, Devontae was used to um, <clears throat> doing stuff himself, far as the production stuff. Mm -hmm. And so what, what Andre did, which was a good thing, it was a good call mm -hmm. when he called Al B in. Mm -hmm. Al B. Yeah, he called yeah. Al B in. Yeah. And then, you know, Al B came in because he knew. he. We had the picture. We had the picture already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What Dre did by getting Al in and he, like, on some of the cuts, co produced with Devontae, what he did was put that picture in a frame. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 100%. That's, yeah. that's, that's all he did. He put that picture in a that's frame. That's that fine with, tuning. Yeah, just that the, fine tuning. Just yeah. the little yeah, things it needs. Yeah, because yeah. Al the had The Quincy that, Jones effect. The Quincy yeah, Jones yeah, effect. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Harvey there Mason effect. And then he just. had his night and day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah, he, he already knew how to make records. There you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah. Devontae, he he knew exactly what he doing. He knew his, Yeah. But like I said, you want to, you know. You know, yeah. put that, put a coat, and put shellac on it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. That's 100%. all. That's 100%. all Dre did, and that's what Al Al B did, and um, and Al and Devontae worked it. You know, they bumped head, but of course Devontae had that ego. But then he got, you know, and um, he just had that. Like I gotta listen. We told her you gotta listen, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta listen to him, man. You and Al had the resume too. Had, it wasn't like he just put y'all exactly. with some random person. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And um. So and uh and then when Al came in with that mature lyric, like mine now, everybody think Al wrote Forever My Lady. What Al did, Forever My Lady was already written. Forever Lady was already written even before like I said, we had it before we got a deal. What Al did was he put that um that verse in there. You know, that, that kind of messed everybody. At, at first, it messed my head up when it said, so, so you're having, having my, my baby. baby. We like, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all yeah, wasn't ready to give him a baby yet. Nah, <laughs> nah, man. Nah, I just got my deal. Whoa. I just got my deal. Now I'm on child support? How's it going? Why, yeah. why, yeah. why is this that, the way? And that, that, that really, y'all, that's what really, 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 I think, you know, set us apart. Absolutely. From a lot of young group, with, with, with the nobody majority. wasn't talking about that. Nobody, nobody was, was saying. Not, not nobody was saying. Nobody no, was saying. No. I mean, they might have saying. They might have been saying somebody's having my baby. Yeah, right. right. Somebody might have been having that conversation, but they weren't saying right behind it, and it, and means, it means so, so much, much to me. me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, at nineteen, when somebody having your baby, you trying to at figure 19, out what's next. Nineteen, you trying next. to figure yeah. out. Uh, man. You sure? Yeah. You sure? Are you sure. Yeah. I saw what's the name come through here. And, you know. <laughs> No, y'all used to talk. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean that much to me. It don't mean that much. It don't mean shit to me. Yeah, but far as all the rest of the lyrics, man, Devontae Penn is sick. Oh, but the on, stay man. and yeah. the come and talk yeah, to me absolutely. and the I'm still waiting and yeah. the you and I's yeah. and the my heart belongs to you, the Fiendins and the freaking you. Now that's all D. Hold on, hold on. Let's stop right here. Let's stop right here. Let's stop right here. Okay. Gotta love his history. Like, gotta love, mm -hmm. gotta love. Well, I was like, okay, I don't know why they singing this hard on this up tempo, but I <laughs> love it. <laughs> I love it. And then, well, that forever my ladies rise. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a period where, as new artists, you know, you're opening, you're doing venues, and maybe it's just you for a radio show. It's maybe 200 people, 300 yeah. people. Yeah. But there's got to be a moment where, when that Forever My Lady hits, that you see the difference from that 200 and this small radio shows and them openings to the venues getting absolutely... Yeah, you're going to the thousands. Yes. Yeah, the thousands. man. We and saw the money. that. And the, oh, man. Yeah, because you know, you know where I'm going. And they, I want to know what he bought. Yeah. What I got. Come on, man. man. I want to know. Come on. When My you, first tour, what, I, what did I get? I got a... Uh, I got a I got a BMW man. Yeah. See, but it was I got a BMW. JoJo got a BMW. Dalvin got a BMW. That damn Devonta. He bought her. What he? It's something crazy. A Lamborghini. And they got a Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all BMWs is cool. Man after my own heart. <laughs> Got to get the lamb on him. And, uh, oh. He didn't stop at one. Oh. Oh. He got like a couple of them, man. That was, that was, that was. After that the was, first tour. The first tour, man. Who was the first tour with? 
First of Hammer, MC Hammer. Arenas. And then we, and then and then Hammer. we um broke Arenas. off from that and then we did our own Jodeci tour, which was Jodeci and, and Mary. And mm. I think who else was on that tour with us? I think and I wanna say Biggie, but I I don't wanna say Biggie. We did yeah, I, I think it was Biggie. I think it was, Opening. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, an they were they tool. was openers, wow. yeah. Jodeci, yeah, man. We Jodeci was that Jodeci, we were that wow, it was crazy, man. So give me give me the give me the the the, the puff playing. Oh when Puff, okay. Yeah. Give me that goes back to when Puff was doing when Puff was um intern. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Puff was like his ear was to the street. I'm gonna tell you how I got a love came in. And um Puff had asked Dre, yo, you told Dre, he said, yo, you shouldn't, because Dre was going to come out the first single, he would come come and talk to me uh, forever, my lady. Mm-hmm. So Puff told him, no, Dre, don't do that. I wouldn't do that if I was you. I would put them out with God of Love, that song, God of Love, man. So Dre like, why would you do that? We didn't even want to do that. Mm-hmm. And why? He said, because the video concept could be like, they could be dressed like, you know, you know, they in the hood. The edge. You know, yeah. with the boots, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. little thuggish or whatever. Yeah. So that gotta love would set the world up, you know, because they didn't want Dre even said that. Dre really, he really he told him, I don't want y'all we told Dre we don't want like no boys to men. Not no, you know, mm-hmm. distant boys, man. We didn't want it we didn't want want it like that. Even Puff said, Yo, man, you don't want them like boys and men in suits. You don't want them in suits, man. He said, Puff told him that, yo, man, when I see the, when I see them, man, I want to see them like four of my homeboys on the corner. Yeah. Singing the girls and stuff like yeah, that. You yeah. know, on the stoop, yeah. singing the girls, you know. So Puff said, I think you should come out with Gotta Love first in the video. So be like, this should have only like some hip hop gear on. Mm-hmm. So I thought Puff was gonna get fired for that, man. But then after we heard what Puff idea was, yeah, Dre, I think we should go with Gotta Love, man. So gotta love work. Absolutely. And what it really did, it set a tone so the world could see, okay. It put everybody on notice. Yeah, that yeah. this this how they're gonna be looking. Yeah. This yeah. how they're gonna dress. They're gonna have on their boots. They're gonna have on their vest. You yeah. know, yeah. they're yeah. gonna have on their shades. They can shades yeah. and their baseball cap. Yeah. So um that really set the world up. But once again, it, I think you said it, like when they, when they saw a sing from my lady, they probably said, Oh, that's that group that got on the yellow yeah. and uh, uh yeah. in, in that yeah. video with mm-hmm. the boots and stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, we get it. That's them, and that really set us apart from from boys to men and whatever groups that was coming out at the same time. Which I think is genius, though, very because genius. most time in this business, and we all know this, we've been in this, this game a long time. When something works, everybody does the exact same. There you thing. go. Yeah. Because it's the cheat code. There mm-hmm. you go. It can get you. It can get you in. Yeah. It can get you yeah. in. It might not keep you in. Right. But right. for you guys to be the polar opposite mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. made mm-hmm. so much sense. Yeah. yeah. yeah man. And for for Puff to be an intern at the time, yeah, to recognize that, yeah, he, recognized he was already it. showing that he was yeah. a tastemaker. Yeah. He, and, and the other, other genius in it, too, in it being polar opposite, is that now you're immediately in a conversation with, with some guys yeah. that are already selling millions of records. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's right. like, now it's like, uh-oh. What's mm-hmm. what's getting ready to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Now it's two. It ain't just yeah. one. There you go. We there got some go. guys over here. To yeah, they come became to the, bad mm-hmm. became mm-hmm. the bad boys army. Became the bad boys army. So we got yeah. the good guys in the back. Who 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 you want to go see? Oh, right. <laughs> huh? Right. right. <laughs> who you want to go see? No, that's great. <laughs> and I'm a church kid, so you I'm wanna, like. So did you know of? Uh, obviously, you knew of Lil Cedric, but did you I connect didn't it? No. That Lil Cedric and the Haley Singers was your. I had you no didn't know that? Had no idea. Wow. Had no idea until I got out of high school and did some research and was like, well, because I got I got your cassettes. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm, know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So once I made that connection, I said, that's why it makes so much sense to me. Yeah. So for me, I started being Jodeci in church. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I start sounding like y'all in church. I would go to visit in churches and play and, you know, add my Devontae chords and all yeah. that. They'd be like this, you like a one-man jealousy. Uh, <laughs> I would, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because cause as, as much as I loved boys to men who were, you know, I mean, ultimately just 
talented just oh off the God. freaking yeah, charts, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I I was drawn so much to that feeling that was so familiar to me. Mm-hmm. The chords. You know I mean? The chord structure, and, 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 the vocals, arrangement, the arrangement, and, and, yeah. and how that, like, I come that from, gut. I come from quartet, there you go. Baptist, Kojic, that and gut. I was like, that's in and, there. And we definitely Kojic. Oh, that's in there. We definitely Kojic. So it, 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 it made my soul happy. Yeah. I want to yeah. shout. There you go. Well, KC was shouting. Get, no, KC was there. I wanted to shout when that music came yeah. on. Yeah. I was like, y'all don't hear this? Y'all don't want to lift no offering? I got this. Change, if you change a few, um, some words, if you change words out of song. Oh, it's gospel right there. It's talk straight to the gospel. Talk to the Lord. You can have an altar call. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. You can. Instrumental, you can. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Did the commissioned have any? Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Commission, yeah, the whiners, yeah, and then and, you know, and I had my quartet groups, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, the gospel king knows, yeah, the violineers, yeah. um, you name the quartets, man. I was a hardcore quartet, but then, like in the um, late eighties, I started listening to like like I said, commission mm-hmm. and, and the whinings, mm-hmm. you know, those cats. Clark sisters, you know, and I and I like okay, and that, that's what we did. But the thing about it, when we got in R and B, when we got in R and B, man, we were how Jojo really, really, really got our sound. Jojo was a um, the deal and Babyface fanatic. Hmm. Okay, this in the late the late nineties, uh, and man, Devontae was fanatics of God. Hmm. So what we would do is, if Jojo sleeping in one room, this is at my mom's house now, Jojo sleep in one room, he'll go to sleep with all baby face and in the, um, in, in, um, the deal, start playing in his cassette player. I mean, Devontae in another room, we going to sleep, listen to Teddy, Teddy and Aaron. Hmm. So me and Devon, they were like, okay, I'm gonna do some Teddy, I'm gonna do some Teddy shit, you do some Aaron shit. Hmm. Like, okay. We, so this is yeah. all late 80s. The, yeah, the yeah, way yeah. You, yeah. So what we did, we together. combined yeah. the whinings, commission, <laughs> guy, and the deal. And the deal. <laughs> all in one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It all makes sense. And then we made, and plus we had, of course, we had Jodeci. It was so aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. If you listen to our music, you can hear it, man. It was, like, I tell people all the time, everybody's like, yeah, it's, you hear them Jodeci harmonies? I said, yeah, I hear you. (laughs) But. That's your way of saying you don't hear it. (laughs) You can't. I be watching the show, man. You can't listen. You can't listen. You can't listen. You didn't. You didn't. I don't know that shit. You can't. Because. He's just nicer to me. I'll be like, man, this ain't no fucking Joseph. <laughs> here's, two, here's two things, right? Because it's, it's two, two things. First of all, you can try the arrangement, right? Yeah. But the But the vocal, the KC... And, and JoJo vocal the are tones, so distinctive the tone, that yes. you'll never, tone, you'll never, never have that combination nope, that tone. of tones yeah. that make it what it is. Yeah. And two, the misconception of anybody, from groups to anybody trying to be Jodeci, is that they confuse the fashion with the music. With the music. Y'all yeah. make love? Y'all was making love songs. Yeah, man. That, Y'all that, was screaming that, at that people was to start. Treat them like they're supposed to be treated. Treat y'all, like y'all are screaming that, though. Mm-hmm. 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 Screaming that. Screaming forever, my lady. Mm-hmm. Screaming. screaming stay. Mm-hmm. Those are all love songs. Tonight! <laughs> Let's talk. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. That's you... straight church. What? That's Koji. That, that, that sounds like somebody was in front of y'all like this. Tonight! That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and then the way we stack our stuff. How many stacks? Give me the stacks. Come on, give me the stacks. Cause um, y'all on the on the board. Y'all on tape. Yeah. Y'all on real two inch. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Y'all y'all using the whole. Y'all using two. All two that. Inch all that man. We yeah. do ain't like, no flying no vocal. No. Nah. Nah, nah. Ain't you no know, flying over. Um, I want to say on one note. Give me how, how many? How many times did you stack one note? One note. One note. The melody. Devonte would have a stack on one note at least. Man, this might sound crazy, but man, Devonte would have us one note. Just one note. Plus the 10. 10 stacks on I one be, note. I believe every word yeah. you're saying. God. I believe every word yeah. you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I say about 10. And, are, and on, during y'all stacks, are y'all trying to match the note? Or are y'all just singing it with a different feel every time? Because that's the other thing. People go in and you stack and stack and stack and you're trying to make all the notes sound identical. But no, when you listen sometime, to Joe to see. Sometimes we'll be like, we'll do like, uh, we do like five, like tonight. We do like five, you know, six times, whatever. Then we other, other one, we do tonight. You know, just yeah, yeah. very yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just fill in those yeah, those yeah. sonic holes, and we, yeah. and we, and we yeah. pan them, pan yeah. them all, pan yeah. them all, pan. You know, <sighs> y'all ain't stacking enough. That's what he just yeah. said. <laughs> you ain't, you're not stacking. You're not enough. stacking enough. You got enough, enough stacks. You got to stack them, man. Ain't no ass on your backgrounds. That's and, what he's saying. Now, as far as I, as far as um, uh, harmonies arrangements, see, Devonte plays chords all five fingers. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to, me and Jota got to sing every note. Every note that he's playing. Shit. And then JoJo going there. He, that's one thing about JoJo. He's so creative. Mm. JoJo just drops something in there. Even when we record, he'll just drop something. Just something for, yeah, I'll yeah. fall off. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep and that. Yeah, and keep that, that. Yeah, that's what Devon just said. Keep that. And next thing you know, that's a harmony. Yeah. And that's a harmony. So, you know, man, sometimes we have like what? Man, sometimes we have like... Some people lose, use five part harmonies. Man, we'll, we'll make it a way we can use six or seven. Absolutely. Cause like mine now, we got the regulars. Mm-hmm. We got the regular notes. Now mine, know. Devante, gonna play five chords. You know, he gonna play five chords on, on, on the harmonies. And then like I said, the extra stuff that JoJo would do. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it, that, that, it's just, you gotta be in one of our sessions, man. You'll be like, whoa. You know, the first time I got a, I got a just a, maybe even a slight glimpse of it was working with Genuine. Okay, okay. He because wouldn't know. He he came from that school, and I and I watched him mm-hmm. stack, 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 mm-hmm. stack, stack, mm-hmm. stack, stack. He got F and D, and he was like, he was like, I was like, I was like, you doing the same note again? He said, Nah, I'm doing it a little different this time. Watch mm-hmm. when I watch what I do at the end. I'm like, Oh, okay, yeah. okay. He said, "All right, now give me, give me, give me three more. I'm gonna whisper these." I'm like, mm-hmm. see, I just what? tell you that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, he that came, whole thing before. G came from the school. Oh, man. absolutely. He came from the school. So that was my first glimpse yeah. of that much yeah. stacking. Yeah, yeah. And Timberland too. Yeah, he came from the school. Yeah, okay, here we go. Like I, I said, it. we did that shit. No, no. <laughs> Clearly, you can say that as many times as you want to today. Clearly, <laughs> um, I want to get to, um. I want to get the Diary of a Mad Band. Come on. Mm-hmm. Come on. I want to know first, why Diary of a Mad Band? Why that title? Um, Diary of a Mad Band. Um, I didn't like it at first, and then I started realizing, Yo, Who we came mad. up with it? We mad, Devontae. Mm. But that second hour, we we was we was mad. What were y'all mad about? Just mad. Just, <laughs> just mad. Just mad. Man. Was it? Was it? Okay. So wasn't business, was it? Was wasn't, it connected to the business or no? It wasn't. No, it wasn't connected to the business. It was just we were just mad. We wanted to be like, yo, okay, we getting out of that fell my leg. Okay, we, we, we people think we soft. We are mad. That's why it's time to get mad. That's why we took the mm. album cover like that with shirts off with Devontae and Dalvin and. We had the boots and stuff off and all that, all that, boots on. We would just, well, I was going to sit ourselves, I'm mad 
band. Mad don't mean, you know, we have attitude. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got attitude, but yeah. we want to let y'all know we more than just an R and B band. Yeah. You know, yeah. we we mm-hmm. yo, we fucking rollers too. We mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we got attitude. Y'all had tattoos you know, and shit. Yeah, tattoos all kind of- and all that. We didn't care. We, didn't, we, we was mad. We didn't give a damn. We wanted to change the face of R and B. Yeah. Y'all did yeah. that. <laughs> Y'all did that. So, and you know, all those songs we put on that album, man, shit. Man, we didn't care. We were mad. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't give a damn. We were taking no prisoners. Jodeci didn't give a damn about shit, man. So, was that the first time that you guys were in, really, in a real studio then? Because the first album was, for the most part, y'all demo. Mm-hmm. Well, we got... I mean, well, y'all really well, was like... Well, the first you know, album was done in the real studio. The demos were done in Charlotte. Right. What we did was... Some of the stuff that Devontae did, we, we we went to Hit Factory. Okay. Mm-hmm. For okay. My Lady. Okay. We did that. Mm-hmm. We did that. Mm-hmm. In fact, we did a whole album in the studio, but our demo was done. But see, Devontae would take, how y'all, whatever y'all do, he flew it, up, flew it into the big board. Yeah. Okay. At, the, at the Hit Factory. And then, and then, <laughs> and whatever him out did, whatever with drum needed, sounds and stuff. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him yeah. Al would do that in pre production and all that. But, um, but we recorded in the full studio, Hit Factory. We did all the album in Hit Factory itself for the last one. So were the sessions different though? In a, in, a in the sense second of album, like yeah. now, now yes, plus now y'all got you know y'all sessions, it's four sessions, of y'all, so sessions. everybody got their different homies. Sessions. Yeah, everybody yeah, got their different one oh, lady, got the different woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we was Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we were definitely Wu Tang. I can only imagine. We what was that. in New York, what? man. We was, yeah. yo. We had it. Yo, it was a party every night. I mean, yeah. every night. It was because mine now, <laughs> our price is up. We can do whatever we yeah. want to do. Yeah. Hey, Dre, yeah. we don't even need you on the session. Mm-hmm. Don't come, yo, Dre Band. Don't let him wait, come. Wait, 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 time out, time out, time out. It was mad. Y'all remember? banned the president. Yeah, they couldn't come to our <laughs> sessions. He, no, he couldn't come to our sessions. Diary if you of did, a mad diary of a mad, mad man. Yeah, we took control. Who puff? Who? Nobody. No, nobody. This, this, this. What? Uh, uh, y'all we at the studio? We get. We gonna be there? We get there. Are y'all there? Are, are y'all there? Yeah, you gotta leave. We ain't coming. If y'all there. We ain't coming. I like where this is oh, going. I'm getting a no, t-shirt. Like that. That. I'm getting a t-shirt that say that. Josie yeah. didn't like. <laughs> if y'all there, we ain't coming. Exactly, man. Because Josie was like I said, mine. Now we had this attitude when we got in Devontae's car to go to New York. We're going to do this. Ain't nobody yeah. gonna stop us. Yo, pop. I'm not going to work. I'm going to get a deal. Yeah. yeah. We took all that. We took all that. Yeah. With us, man. And we, to this day, you know, we're gonna do what we want it. But my and, and and again, man, we were young. We, we we was young, man, and we we was out there, y'all. I can't I can't lie. You know, shit, I'm fifty three now. Yeah. I was what in my early twenties when Joseph yeah. came out. We did a lot of dumb shit, you know. But I don't regret none of it. It was all <clears throat> I hate to say necessary, but it was all part necessary. of that you can course. Say it. It you was necessary. It. It, it was all par for that course. If you want, if you want longevity, man, if you want longevity in this game, man, you can't dwell on what you did on the past, man. Yeah. You got to, you got to celebrate it. Oh yeah. my God, we did that, and we still here, like still, like, yeah, yeah. Because you, 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 and of course, you never know this at the time because you're just doing, you're just doing the work. Yeah, you're, you're just, just doing what work, you man. feel. You just, you know, you all go. the all the years of. Of tutelage, you know, mm-hmm. from 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 being a kid and all that. It's just it's the culmination of it is just it's becoming what it is. Yeah. And little do you know, by taking that control mm-hmm. and by owning it the way that you did right. and making it so personal to you, and putting personal. that stamp on it, that you make one of the most influential R and B albums of all times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of literally all times, top to bottom. Top to bottom. Mm-hmm. You're right. You can't talk about R&B without saying Diary of a Mad Band. It's, if we're making Mount Rushmore of R&B albums. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot. Yeah. You're right. So thank you for that. That my heart belongs to you, man. It was a beast. I'm going to start kicking niggas out the studio. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the new shit. 
No, you can't come. Now, now that's straight <laughs> church. Now you know what that is. Now tank. Now you know that's straight church, man. Yeah. Oh my God! Say whatever you want. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love you it. Kidding me? I love it, man. I used to study. I used to study it top to bottom. Sit on my keyboard and study Devante. Stand there and sing. Study you. Mm-hmm. Study JoJo. See, JoJo was more JoJo in the terms of a singer was more of a singer that you can understand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was JoJo was more on the structure of what we know singers to be. Mm-hmm. Right, but he had that quartet high yeah, yeah, register yeah, yeah. that set him apart from absolutely everybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. right, exactly. But you have an unorthodox vocal. It's not, it's not a, it's not a pattern that any like runner uses, any technical runner. Yeah, is, you yeah. made up your own pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like. Yeah. First you do yeah. <laughs> then you have your own run pattern. Mm-hmm. Right? And if that ain't enough, then you go to what we like to call that liquor. And you get oh, yeah. it to the Ah you get oh, yeah. once you get in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that that liquor. Just yeah. good night. Yeah. 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 Good night. Somebody gave me life. Somebody <laughs> gave me life. What? But that's the other part though. Who's the somebody? Who's somebody? Because <laughs> not judge? just the judge, but somebody. somebody. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know I, that. You know nigga. How you saying a church? That, that come for church, man. Somebody. 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 But like, when somebody help me, <laughs> who was somebody? Somebody gave me. Somebody. Somebody gave me life. Somebody gave. Somebody. Somebody. Anybody. Anybody. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Say yeah. <laughs> Say yeah. Yeah, man, because um, all that squall and stuff, that was that quartet raised up, man. You know? Wasn't nobody, yeah. wasn't nobody, wasn't nobody doing that. No, no I mean, not. if you heard it, you had to been listening to, which I know they probably wasn't at my age, you had to been listening, not R&B, you had to been listening to cats like back in the day. If you heard, if it's not gospel, you had to be listening like the Bobby Womax and the Johnny Davis, Taylors and all Ryan's, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they wasn't checking for that. Yeah. Not in my age, at, and you know, not R&B. at that time. Not at that time. No. Put him close. No. Not in that time. And to a lot of people now, you just say, um, um, okay, you don't think you you sing too you sing too hard? <laughs> Man, would you sing too hard? I don't sing hard enough. Hmm. Tell, I wish you would tell James Brown. Oh man, singing too hard. Does it feel good? It feel good. It sound good. Sound good. Then it's good. <laughs> so That's, how do you preserve as hard as you sing? Well, um, I try to get as much as rest as I can, and I never keep my mouth shut. I'm always talking. You know, oh, so you I, don't I, do I, vocal rest. Not, not really. Not really. See, like, I, I would do some warm-ups. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I know how to do what, but I'll do that at home. When I'm on the road, I'm straight, let's go. But it's an, it's a... It's something, it's a break, got it. He, it's a breaking it. down of the vocal to where that's what sustains it. The mm-hmm. fact that it's not in perfect condition. Mm-hmm. And it can, you know, like back in the day, they say that the old Chevys or them old cars run 200 miles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Engine always sound like it might gonna give out, but it don't. It don't. That's that kind of vocal that is that can work under any condition. And so before I had this little pretty voice, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like this almost Brian May Knight guy. Mm-hmm. And then after listening to y'all, I was like, I need some of that because my soft vocal wouldn't survive. That's the truth. It wouldn't survive. That's so I had truth. to I had to I had to kind of wreck my vocal into a place to where it could survive in whatever condition any I was weather. in. Any weather. Yeah. In any weather. Yeah. yeah. You're right. I had to strip my vocal down. You're right. And there's a lot coming from Tank. You can test for this, man. When you're singing when you used to singing every every week in church hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We singing like I used to do like when I was in the Haley singers, man, we would sing 
was singing. And plus, my daddy was an aggressive lead singer. Mm -hmm. My mama was an aggressive lead singer. So I was really being trained for them. Yeah. My mama was the one that taught me how to um, sing for my diaphragm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, and plus singing in church every Sunday. I mean, singing hard. I was the lead singer doing all. I, I was I was the one. It'd be a part in the, in the, in the um in the program of the performance. I'm the one wrapping up the crowd. Mm -hmm. Somebody out there don't know what I'm talking about yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I had to, that 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 singing to me. I'm talking and singing to mm -hmm. the audience. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, and I carry that. I carry that with me to this jealousy, man. I'm not gonna never, never. It's gonna be with me always, man. Okay, let's let's move on. Um, show the hotel the after party. <clears throat> wow. Okay. <sighs> Masterpiece, right? Absolutely. That's where I got tagging interludes, intertwining with songs mm -hmm. from. That's where it came from. Mm -hmm. where I got it. All those, I, I I went on screaming online the other day saying that I had the best interludes of all times. <laughs> and everybody kept saying Jodeci. <laughs> and I was like, no, I have the best interludes of all times. <laughs> and now that you're here, I'm gonna tell the truth. Y'all have the best interludes <laughs> of all times. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, just <sighs> talking shit online. Uh, I, learned, I learned from y'all. Nah, That's who I learned from, right? I want to ask about a pivotal moment in 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 <clears throat> in for you I'm sure and as you know as a stand watching you guys I'm watching the get on up video mm -hmm. and there's no Devante mm -hmm. and I'm like what is going on <laughs> and I'm like is my is my group is my no. group done nah nah what nah. is going on what happened with that? It, it, we, man, it's crazy, man. We just talked about that yesterday. <laughs> Devontae is so. Like, what, what can I say? Devontae is. It, it's like. He thought, to be honest, he thought Get On Up was too happy. Mm -hmm. It was a happy song. Yeah. And Devontae like that happy stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, nah, I'm telling you, D, man. I'm telling you, man, this song's too happy, man. This song's too happy, man. I guess it wasn't, I don't know, you're a producer. I guess it wasn't, like, it wasn't like the... Did Dev Devontae didn't produce that one? Nah. Did he write it? Did he write no. any of it? No. No. The, was, was that more... So that I guess more you know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't my shit. <laughs> Pretty much, right? I didn't want to say it, D, man. When you start putting out Devontae music, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. But, in the meantime. But, but, but we told him, yo, this could be a nice song, but I ain't going to do the video either, man. No, I right, D. I okay. But that's, 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 that's typical. That's D, man. That's D. D mind is like, to be quite frank, D mind is like, He's so wrapped up into his producing. Mm -hmm. to it's like, you know, you don't care about nothing but producing. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And um, D is, he, he's just D, man. Yeah. He's been that way his whole career. Even when so Devon for you guys, huh? this wasn't, no, this wasn't, wasn't this no wasn't shocker, a, alarms. No, or, got you. No, no. Because for us, it was like, the world got, is when, over. When Josie, when we <laughs> the first, world is over. When we first came over, when we, we first came on, when Josie first came out, man, um, Devontae always said, he said, hey, man, when Josie blow up, man, he said, he said, Casey, man, I think you should do your own thing. Jodo, you should do your own thing. Dalvin, you should do your own thing, man. And, and he, got, he said, man, be honest with y'all, man. I really want to. I really want to really stick to producers, but not. He said, "Let's don't do nothing, man, until we like we at the height we need to be as Jodeci, because we know mm -hmm. whatever we do is just it's a tree. Mm -hmm. Whatever that Jodeci do besides, you know, whatever we do besides Josie, Josie is the root of that tree. We're just yeah. the branch off. Yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. of that tree. Yeah. So long as none of us don't forget, this is this is what home. Right. This is home. Josie is the home. We can, I can do whatever I want to do." You know, but I know home is Joe's. I know about the root of the tree. You know, like I'm doing a solo album right now. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm 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 proud of myself. And I thank God He gave me a chance to do it. 
But at the same time, I know I still come from that root. That root is Jodeci. I would never, ever forget about that. And as far as I'm concerned, I would never, I would never, ever leave my group. Gotcha. And and all the guys, we feel the same way. We made we made a pack. Mm-hmm. We made a pack in North Carolina when we got on that when we got on that um before we got on that freeway. As we said our prayer, we would never ever 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 leave each other. Mm-hmm. And God listened to that for sure. So we take that with us everywhere we go. We would never ever leave each other. So Devonta could be out there doing what he want to do. Mm-hmm. Jojo, Dalvin, or myself, we already know when it's time and duty call, mm-hmm. we gotta go. You know what I'm saying? So give me this branch. Give me the. KC and JoJo. Mm-hmm. You just gonna skip over? Do you believe in love? I wasn't gonna. I mean, I, you just because we ain't got to KC and JoJo yet. Are you a very disrespectful? Promise that it gives. I wanna love, love you for life, cause your love is wild. First time, everybody <laughs> back here. I am Mr. Dalvante <laughs> Swain. <laughs> if he want, you want to be JoJo? I am whoever <laughs> I'm allowed to be. <laughs> I'm the unofficial sixth member of you JoJo. Know, you know what? By you, by you thinking that, it's a note in there, right? That I didn't even know. That didn't even know we was in there, man, until we played like not long ago and we was getting ready for um like we can ready for tour now. We're mm-hmm. doing all our stuff. You know, I'm ready for tour yeah, we'll, now. Yeah, we'll oh, we'll yeah, be there. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, can you can you say I the tour dates real quick like if you don't too. mind? Oh man. Starting the end of July. Start the end of July, right, mate? Right, oh, what's yeah. the dates? July twenty eighth to September eighth. July twenty oh, eighth. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. To September eighth. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll be there. I'm coming. Joe to see tour. I'm going to most of the What's the name of the tour? Summer Block Party. Summer Block Party. Party. Yeah. SWV. Also, SWV. And Drew Hill. And Drew Hill. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I will be making appearances in the audience. All right? Man. That's where I will be. Me too. Singing backgrounds. All right? <laughs> Loud. <laughs> Don't bother me. Come no. on. <laughs> Just let me sing. Just let me sing. <laughs> do what you got to do. Ushers, let me stand in the aisle. <laughs> Whatever outfit y'all wear the first night, I'm getting it made. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have on one just like yeah, you got it. You got audience. it. You got it, man. You see, we go full out. Just hey, you do see I, that. I, I, man, I'm telling y'all, hey, yo, when I walked in here, right? <laughs> I, was, I was looking for, I was looking for a wardrobe person. I was like, yo, I didn't get the memo. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> we got it. it. We but, called but each look, other. Yo, but, yeah, that, we, no, no, that was right. cool, though. We that called each other. He called me. He said, you know I'm going there, right? <laughs> I said, I know I am, yo, too. Jay went there, too. Then you, Jay. He said, it's going to be hot. I said, I'm okay with that. <laughs> look, hey. I'm okay with that. If you Joe to see, you wear your fit. You sure you do. Always, you wear your you movie. always cool. You go in the desert. What? Um, <laughs> love you for life. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that note. I was trying to tell you about that note. Because love is where I live. That was that was wiki, but there's another note that we put in out because I just found out about this a few weeks ago. Cause your love is where I live. Yeah. Whoa, where that come yeah. from? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I heard I heard it. That's it. You heard it? Absolutely. Devante. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Cause I love you while I live. I said, dog, that's crazy. It's fine. <laughs> now, let's, now let's go to Casey and JoJo. Okay. okay. All my life. Mm-hmm. That's when I met you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's okay. when I that's okay. when I finally okay. met you guys. Okay. I was we were doing Summer Jam in L.A. Okay. And y'all um, y'all 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 went on right after me. And. And y'all were walking, and I was just like, and you think you spoke to me. You're like, what up, Tank? I was like, this nigga know my name. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you got to take, take, take this. I can't take this. I can't man. take this, man. I can't take this. I can't. Like, that was my first time oh, ever yeah. seeing you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, in person. Wow. And then you say that. Yeah. And then you say, yeah, you, you come by the house later. Y'all come by the house. Did y'all come? You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> what you, we do, man? But we me, lived in the big house that time. Yep, me with the pool in the back. You, Dave Hollister. Okay. I got on the piano, and we sang all night. We and did. JoJo wouldn't let me stop singing. 
For real. As a judge, I'm tired. No, 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 no. Come on, come you on. You get is... that belt. It's mama ass. <laughs> whip your ass, boy. There you go. <laughs> I was at your house. Wow. It was at my hero's house. Did we, did we have floor. a house full of men? Uh, what? Man. What? Man. And, and the just... beverages were flowing. Uh, you got <laughs> it, it felt like everything you had imagined? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think I tripped over like a gallon of Hennessy. Like, it, it, I don't even know they made these. I was like, what is this? It's the Lord's bottle of Hennessy. What, what? My God, and it's empty. I was like, who drank this? Shit. Bro, that was one of the I still see that day like it was yesterday. Oh, yeah, One man. of the best days of my yeah, life. Yeah, man. Best we days had, of my we life. We had some fun, boy. I tell you. And, and give, 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 me, give me the thinking in... You and Jojo, you and your brother saying, let, let us, let's do a project together and coming, coming up with that hit right mm -hmm. now. Well, once again, um, go back to what Devontae said. Mm -hmm. The branch yeah. of the tree. Yeah, the branch of the tree. Mm -hmm. Devontae said, y'all think we should do our own things. So at that time, I was, I was, I was living in Atlanta at the time. I, I went in for vacation, vacation stand show. Wow, and once again, Jojo, once again, Calls me on the phone. Yo, I'm working on something out here, man. You know, I don't need you. <laughs> exactly. I don't, I don't need you. <laughs> yes, you do. Once again, he let me hear something over the phone. I stopped, you know, I left Atlanta, man, and um, went to L.A., man. Me and Jojo started uh, Love Always, the album and stuff, man. And uh, our first project was, a uh, wow. Bulletproof soundtrack. Mm -hmm. How could you? Mm -hmm. After we did that, man, yeah, we got some here, man. Let's keep this going. This thing I know, me and JoJo, um, got our management, Damon Jones, at the same at the time, cause he was managing JoJo. Then I came aboard, so I was like, "Yo, man, all right, I'm down. Let's do it, JoJo." Man, there you go with that shit, man. Every time, every time, I, every time <laughs> I start I something, some. every time I start some shit, man. Yeah, you go, there. man. There <laughs> you go. Put there me on there. KKC been aggressive. I need in on that, champ. <laughs> <laughs> who's who's older? You or you or I am. You the oh, big there brother. it is. There I, it I is. already knew from the, that conversation. The, He's the big brother. <laughs> I'm in there. I'm in there. I, I'm <laughs> telling you. To turn that verse down. And I'm, I let, I I let him do what he wanted to do. He wanted to do that all my life. I said, cool. But I'm in there. I'm, in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring me some last night. Let up in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. sitting at a home. Come on, That's all now. you missing, Joe. <laughs> That's all you missing, That's Joe. All you <laughs> <laughs> That's all you missing is me. That's all you. <laughs> so y'all got y'all got two things that stick out for me. Mm -hmm. It's Casey and JoJo. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to the Bay Area one first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say that you got it all. Oh, yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every yeah. day at the mall. Every day at the mall. He folded. He folded. He too folded. short. <laughs> too <laughs> hot at the video shoot mm -hmm. playing pool. Mm -hmm. That is such a classic. That was, it right was, there. man. It was, man. It was crazy. It was a wild day. Did boy. you write that verse? I mean, I, I mean that hook? Say that you got it all. What they would do is... To producers like forty people with uh, just like same thing with how do you want it when we did it. With I, he already knew where I was going. So mm -hmm. um, those are my two. Yeah, I so, needed to um, know about them. What if they would be like do some reference? Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, and then you would do KC. I had to put some KC on it. That's all. Yeah, do a little bit of arrangement. How on does it. it feel? Yeah, they they give us Coming the rhythm up, and we take it nigga over. Nigga in the cash game, living, living in the fast lane now oh, for real. Jigga, Pac had it so, Pac had it jacked up. How do you want it? How do you feel? Coming up at nigga, that ain't gonna be fast and I'm for real. Like, nah, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Come on. How do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just put our stink on it. That's how it is on most of the stuff. They we had Heather Hunter people. in that video. But yeah, Heather Hunter. Talk to talk. Yeah. Talk to talk. That's that real talk. I think we all. <laughs> Wish we had had a hunter in a video. <laughs> I think we yeah. all grew up wishing. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because y'all were doing, that's the thing, too. It it kind of came full circle with starting with Father MC. Yeah. And then, 
E-40 and Too Short, mm-hmm. Tupac. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys were already, are so integrated into hip hop music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It just made mm-hmm. sense. Like, it didn't even feel like a R&B hook. Yeah. I it think, just felt like it's Jodeci on the record. It's yeah. Jodeci. Yeah. 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 I, I think it, to be honest, getting, while you're saying that, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think well, we were the first group to ever did like collabs with rappers, or I mean, were we? Cause Father C was the first one after Father MC. I never heard nobody, and not in our era. If, yeah. if we did, I I don't know, but as far as our era, I thought it was I think we was the first one. Father MC was the first thing. Yeah, because that was before uh, Boys to Men and Ella Cuja. Ella, yeah, 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 yeah it was. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was. Yeah. So was was that idea to, is it was it he just needed somebody to hop on a record or was that a way of introduction for y'all? Andre, Dre, hmm. Andre, Andre knew yeah. what he was doing. This is how I'm this how I'm gonna um, introduce my group, mm-hmm. like that. And once again, they they sent us to the studio to do it. And uh, <clears throat> Corey Rooney, mm-hmm. uh, uh, what's, it's Corey, right? Corey, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Corey and um, oh man, come on now. Marky D, Prince Marky D mm-hmm. from the Fat Boys. Was the Fat Boys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was producing Rest a lot of records. Yeah. yeah, they did that. They did that. And um, once again, got me and JoJo in the studio. Let us hear Treat Them. And uh, it, it sounded good, but it wasn't churchy enough. Mm-hmm. enough. So treat them like they want to be treated. You just treat them right. right. Nobody doing yeah. that. Nobody. Nobody, Nobody wasn't Nobody. doing that. So we put that church in there. That was yeah. it. And um, then it went from that, man. It's, it's, you know, it was cool. So what made you, because you brought this up earlier, or, or did anybody tell you, you need to do Bobby Womack? You need to do if you think you're lonely now. <laughs> I was chilling. I was chilling at home one night, man. Mm. And um, Dre called me. Mm-hmm. Dre called me. Lucky enough, I was like only a few blocks away from the studio, cause I had a condo. You know, I wasn't staying in my house, and I was staying in my condo in uh, in the city. Yeah, yeah. House and condo. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got a couple huh? things. It's Jodeci. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, he called. He said, "Yo, what you doing?" I said, "Yo, uh, Dre, it's twelve o'clock, man. What's going on?" He said, I need you to come around to the studio. You in the city? I said, yeah, I'm in the city. I need you to come around to the studio, man, do this song. Uh, if you think alone, now, but why Bobby Womack? You know that? I said, yeah, I know it. I my mama knew I heard my daddy them. you know. I done heard it around the house a few times. What's up? And I already liked it because I, I like that song. I need you to come around the corner and do that. I said, man, come on, Dre, man. Just get, get around here, man. So when I got around there, I was blessed. Cause right when I before I got to the studio, Mr. Womack himself, himself, had did a reference mm. for me. Are you serious? I'm dead up. He did a reference for me, man. So, man, now it's twelve o'clock. I said, you want me to um sing like that? This hard, right? He said, yeah, you can do it. I listened to the um. I listened to the reference. I said, "What did he have?" I said, "When he when he sang that hard, what 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 what, what was on his rider? What did he have? What was on his rider?" You know, so he like, <laughs> I like this. Check it out. He said, "Yo, he ordered a fifth of gin, yeah, six pack of Heineken. Give me a fifth of gin, six pack of Heineken." I already have my cigarettes. Get that gin in me. Let's go! Knock that out. <laughs> That's how it happened. If that ain't R&B music. Get, <laughs> give me a fifth of gin. Ruben, I need a fifth of gin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, put it down. Jacob I wouldn't have carried that, though. A, a Heineken. <laughs> I need, it's too late. <laughs> and Lonnie, get my cigarettes. <laughs> He drinking new ports of cools. Cools. <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> Shit. 
Yeah, but if it's like this, wow. I went, I'm, I'm, I'm not making this up, man. I, I know. Yeah, I'm not making this up, man. That's the truth, man. That's what he. I said, what did he have? What was on his rider? Why? Yeah, he, what was on his rider? What made him do that? Yeah, what made him do that? I need that. You went. You got me singing like race. 12, 1 o'clock at night. Yeah, you went. And crazy. I'm in the bed. You went. I got to wake up. Jenna, do it. You went crazy. Went crazy. Went crazy. I felt like Bobby. I had, I had to be. I had to be in his. You get in what I'm saying? I had, to, had to, to be in his mold. mold. I had yeah. to be in his mold, man. It was like a biopic. Yeah. yeah. You made a biopic. Yeah. In, just in one song. Yeah. Because I, I don't think I don't think that I've listened to Bobby's as much as I've listened to yours. Mm-hmm. Definitely our generation listens to KC's. Oh, yeah. I, I just, for sure. For sure. Once yours came out, yours was, yours was so ferocious. But the trip this, though. I only listen to his version. To this day, I only listen to his. I don't listen to mine. Wow. I'm going to tell you why. There's some stuff that he did in his version that I didn't do. Mm -hmm. So I take it live. I do it live, what he did in his version. Mm. I do it live. You do it just like his? Yeah. I don't do my version live. I do his live. What he do live. Yeah. So his, his, his one part of it, when skeletons come out of your closet, chase you all around the room. That's KC. Mm-hmm. I go live. I'm like, when skeletons come out of your closet and chase your big ass all around the room. <laughs> I, I go there with it. I do Bobby's. You're talking about a heavy woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, do you push up? No, because that's another thing too. Though, if you really listen to the record, it's 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 not a love record. It's a, <laughs> yeah. it's a hate record. It really when is. When skeletons chase your big ass, <laughs> all of, oh, you big now that we're not together no more. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I see you now. <laughs> but I just go with his version, man. That's his version. You do live, not yeah. you know. I just do his live of version. Of like I, even on YouTube, I pull that up, man. I let yo, let me. See. See how Bobby did his live. That's how that's how I do my live. Man. Are you are you a are you an internet guy? Do you watch? Nah. Are you are you paying attention to anything? No. Uh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. So when y'all went viral, you and JoJo singing that Tom Joyner. My God. That is. You my, know what happened? That, that is a pick me up for me. You know what? <laughs> I watch it and it makes my day. Right? Check this out, man. <laughs> what they did not tell us was. <laughs> And Tank knows that all too well because he had to Check do Tom out, Jordan. <laughs> they told us, man. They told us, like, um, number one, everybody had on headphones in there, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody had on. So what we heard, what we heard now. <laughs> Way different. <laughs> what y'all heard. Ah, oh, man, it's great. Nobody wants to post to. I don't understand why they even recording that shit. <laughs> There's a feed <laughs> in our ears. Hey man, why I, did that's the part you play? That's the part. That's you the part. You, they, 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 somebody in there was. I got the ass. Somebody, somebody. I got the ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Raw and uncut. Raw, Raw and, uncut. and uncut. No, no effect. <laughs> no, <laughs> no burb. Just waking up. I mean, no I don't even oh, no. care if they woke up. I don't care. It's five in the morning. I know it is. Uh-huh. Oh man. Five oh, man. in the morning. Oh man. I'm in my quartet mode. I'm in my yes. quartet yes. voice. Ready. <laughs> like I didn't give a damn. But buddy, when I saw oh, it. Man. <laughs> when I, I saw it. I had to bring it up. I'm glad you did. <laughs> my, it up. my first time talking about this shit. <laughs> when I saw it. You want to whoop somebody ass? Really? <laughs> My ass. <laughs> I do put my arm. My arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. My ass. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Oh, man. Is that it? If it that's, is what it is. Is that what we did? <laughs> that's oh, what we did. Oh, that's what we did. Oh, that's how we live. That's how we live. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's how we talking. Oh, oh, that's man, how we living. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but my brother. like that. 
you can you can you can laugh when you're a legend. You huh. can laugh at stuff like that. You can laugh when you're a legend. You've had so many great moments. Yeah, you're allowed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're allowed. Mm-hmm. You have so, and I think that that's the thing that you know that people have to make sure that they're that they're aware of. Yeah, that every day is not going to be a perfect day. Oh no, right. uh, Jane Cleveland taught me that. Everything will be a perfect day. That in, in the congregation. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 hey, I don't. He saw, he saw the Haiti thing after we got off stage. Mm-hmm. He said it. I mean, I don't think it was our best um, performance. Mm-hmm. He got on the mic after we got off stage. Even that ain't your name. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, James. <laughs> damn, James. <laughs> damn, damn, James. <laughs> Every night. Because you said that, man, we were like, I get it though. It ain't. Every, yeah. Every night is not your night. Cut you early. What, what my man saying? Uh, but you wake up. Get you to fight another fight day. Another day. <laughs> you live to fight another day. Get up, Craig. Get up, Craig. Get up. Craig. <laughs> get up. <laughs> hey, as we start going to these more of these concerts, when niggas get off stage, I'm just gonna say that they're not gonna know what I'm talking about. I'll be like, get up, get man. up, Craig. <laughs> get up. Oh man! Oh, you going there? I'm going there, man. I gotta ask one more question. Ask one more question. One more. One more. more. Go ahead, man. I'm here, man. I'm here. One more. (laughs) What made you get on your bodyguards? Shoulders. Uh, I I wanted. I was thinking about that earlier. (laughs) What made you get on your bodyguards' shoulders? No, come here. That was me. Come here. That was me. Because now it's multiple artists that have done it now. That's See, to do it. You know, yeah. you know to do it. I first saw They, they never that grabbed though. a piece of chicken while it was, oh, while it was up there. I meant to do that. <laughs> I meant to, it was an outside show. I meant to do that. Man, that rib. wasn't like, man, rib. go. I meant to do that. Oh, but man. you know what I got that from, though, on, 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 on the shoulders, though? Uh, Prince. I'm Prince. Say Prince. Yeah. Prince. Yeah. Prince and Big Chick. I got that. And I thought... Nobody else had never done that either. Right. Not in my field, not in not in my era. You don't think I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting on the shoulders. I'm gonna start doing that. Cause I I get to plus I get to walk around the whole wherever mm-hmm. I'm performing at. But I don't get on no shoulders no more, man. I, but I walk through the audience. You now. retired the shoulders, man? I, I had to. Why you retired the shoulders? I had to, man. I can't be I can't be fifty two years old on nobody's shoulders. Man. <laughs> Mm. And plus, man, the king, huh? they carry the king. They got to carry. They got to carry the king. Shit, <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'll throw it them damn days, man. Oh, man. Right now, I just want, I want my legacy to be. Mm-hmm. KC is a hell of a hell of a hell of a damn performer on that stage. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And he ain't got to get on no shoulders. Mm-hmm. He ain't got to do no dance moves. He ain't got to um. Walk the crowd, which I would do, still, yeah. still do. Yeah. yeah, I want people to know. Okay, so you can stand around that stage, flat footed, flat, flat footed. Oh, they know that. Flat. They know that. Yeah, and rock your world, yeah. flat. Once I, once I pop them legs back, mm-hmm. and do my real, real style mm-hmm. stance. Mm-hmm. It's on, baby. That's all they need to see. Are say. you and JoJo the only artists who've ever been in? Three groups. Is it me? Are you 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 doing counting uh, milestone too? Milestone. milestone, yeah. Counting count yeah. milestone. Yeah, count milestone. Are, are y'all the only? Are y'all the only artists? They, they, they gotta be three different groups. Well, what? No, Teddy Riley. Teddy. Oh, because he was in Rex and Effect. Rex and Effect. He's technically Rex in Rex and Effect. Yeah. 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 Uh, he, he got Blackstreet, Black Street, Black Street, Rex and Effect, and Guy, and Guy. And Guy. So, Teddy. Yeah. Teddy. Yeah. And he does a solo Teddy thing with the glitter and everything. Mm-hmm. Where, he, where he dances like Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, man, you stupid man. <laughs> <laughs> he got all the sound effects. I love Teddy. Shoop, 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 shoop. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Shoop, Teddy gonna whoop your ass. I love man. Teddy. Man. He gonna have to explain that when he get on the phone. <laughs> you made me explain. <laughs> you got, you got to, yo, when you go to R&B money, you got to explain, man. To explain, man. I'm telling you now. The people want to know. The people, people want to know. know. 
Uh, brother, brother Cedric, yeah, just call me. That. I'm good. Um, you know, in your travels, yeah. In this R and B thing, this gospel thing, mm. being a titan yourself. There are definitely people. Not many. Though. In song. That inspired this great man. Mm-hmm. Casey, we want to know your top five. Mm. Your top five. Yeah. Top five. Mm. Your top five. RB singers. What else? RB songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I see your time? Can I see your Cedric, <laughs> your no Cedric, your we want to know, we want to know your top five. Yes, <laughs> yeah, oh, your top five. No, he did. You no, did a laugh. Five. <laughs> top. <laughs> Five. Daddy. Lord, I'm mercy. Yeah. KC. Yeah. Now? Yeah. Your top five. <clears throat> now? Or R&B singers of all time. All time. Your, R- your, R&B. R- R&B gospel. Your world. Your top five singers. Your world. No particular. It can be gospel order. too. It can be whatever it want, whatever you want it to be. Marvin Winers. Talk the talk. Mm. Kick it off. Mm-hmm. Mm. Stevie Wonder. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Marvin Gaye. Ooh. My personals, right? Yeah. That's yeah. You want me to say? That's what you damn right. I can't even front. Uncle Charlie and Tank. Ain't no. Can't front. I feel like I feel like he just hit a game winning three, brother. <sighs> no, I'm, I, I, he, I'm not. He just, cried under them glasses. Yeah, I'm not. He, he I'm cried not just, under them glasses. I'm not. Jacob, but hold up. Real Zoom talk. in. I'm not <laughs> saying that because you're sitting right here, man. I don't say that because every time I when I hear you sing, man, it's like, man, my mama like you. And she told me to tell you how too, but getting better and better. Hey, mama, hey. She said, tell that little squinchy eye boy. Said, hey. <laughs> squinchy eye boy. That was, that was she said. And she, that was this morning when she told me that. Anyway, wow. you, your style, man, is like. I know they're trying to do this. I've heard things about artists oh, coming out. They gonna be the new this. They gonna be the new that. For my era, my era, and the way your performance is, you that new Marvin. Hmm. Personal, that's just me. Wow. Don't have to be with, it don't have to be the way you sing, or I know y'all got different styles, but your 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 aura, you know, it's like when I saw you on the on the on the, on, the, on the new edition tour. I said, yo, that's that's some new Marvin shit right there. And y'all did y'all thing too. I saw hey, that, man. I love hey, it. But hey, that's man. how I feel about you, man. You, yeah, you're in my top five, for sure. I ain't gonna be to tell this nigga shit. Your arrangements, shit. you know all that, man. All that. People He's, just don't know. And, and see, they not from where we from. They we wouldn't from. get it. Yeah. yeah. I get it. I know, I, I know what you, I know. I know the feel when you sing. I, that's church, man. What he doing now? A lot of people do runs, and a lot of people just do unnecessary runs. You do runs that's necessary. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a run singer. I'm just an aggressive singer. Mm. But you do runs that make you, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sing, boy. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Yes, sir. You definitely. Oh, that's great. You know you didn't fucked up, right? <laughs> <laughs> I need wipers. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> 
I need bathers. <laughs> I need... <laughs> Somebody feeding me grapes. <laughs> yeah. You heard what you did you hear what You got an aura. You got an aura. <laughs> I got one good dog, but um, you Rick James now. Have you seen Rick James? Because the or like yo, that's a Marvin <laughs> Gaye, like he right there. That's yeah, that, that's I love that. you for that, bro. Because you, you are, you are, you are in my DNA. Oh yeah, man, come 100%, on, man, and I appreciate that. All right, Casey, your top five R and B songs. You can say it could be old, songs. new. It, it can be anything. It can be your song. It could be everybody else. Anything from Any, anything, anything, anything from, from anywhere. Anything from the songs and, and the songs of kid life. Anything from that. Anything. We'll from just that. anyone. That's one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Wildflower. No, oh, you going there? From new birth. Oh yeah. Oh, you going there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New birth, of course, but definitely. Mm. Uh, what can I say, man? This is crazy. R and B, there's two right there. Who else I listen to, babe? Oh, oh shh, shh, David. Well, that's an artist. Um, uh, Bobby Womack. If you think you're lonely now, why not? Why Johnny not? Hathaway song, song for, for you. you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. my God! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what for? Yeah, that's for. We need mm-hmm. one more. One more. I mean, the songs of Key to Life got thirty-seven songs yeah, on the album, so did. really we have forty. But <laughs> we have forty. <laughs> <laughs> Top um, forty. Uh, 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 uh. I gotta say this, y'all. I'm sorry. Forever my lady. Why not? Ever my lady. Why not? It has to be. Has to be. It has to be. Ever my lady. That's it. Cause that song right there is like every time I sing that song, I just I, I forgets it's me. Mm. I forgets it's me. Mm. That's how good mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. What song do you get tired of singing? If there's any. What song is you just like, ah Here we go with this one again. Here we go with this one again. Uh I, I I um I I I I put my all in to everything that I sing, and I and I enjoy them so much till I really really don't get tired of singing none of them because mm-hmm. every time I sing them, I get a different feeling. Mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I don't I don't approach them the same way. Everything I sing, so I will never get tired of. It. That's why I don't get tired of it because I approach them a different way every time I sing. Them. Yeah. yeah, different crowd, different yeah, feeling, different, crowd, different, different response. Feelings. I love that. Some yeah. nights I'll be like, yeah, man. You know, it all depends how the crowd is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm singing this way. I'm not even, <clears throat> like, some songs when I got to go up, I ain't got to go up. I'm going to keep it real low for this crowd mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's going to kill them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I got to say, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't never have a song that I get tired of. No. Never. That. All right, let's build your Voltron. Casey, That's what it's called? Voltron. It's called a Voltron. Yeah. It's called your super R and B artist. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get. You gotta get the vocal from somebody. You gotta get the performance style from somebody. Mm-hmm. You gotta get the styling from somebody, and you gotta get the passion, the heart mm-hmm. of the artist from somebody. Mm-hmm. To make your ultimate R and B singer, who are you getting that vocal from? Like from the style of they singing, or, or, or who's your lead singer? Who's your lead singer? My lead singer, yeah, of all time, mm-hmm. Marvin Wines. Yeah. It's the way, it's the way he, his deli- it's his ad delivery, the, yeah, it's just, his delivery, man, his delivery. I mean, no, no, I, I'm not here to knock on nobody. I, I monster. I, I, he's a monster, but. I I I see what Kel's doing. 
I, I can, you can hear it too. You're a singer. Come on now. That's I, Marvin that's, Winans. That's, that's that's where he was groomed. Yeah, he was groomed I see. around him. Yeah, yeah, so I get it, but it's some about Marvin Soul Stern. Oh my God. I had a I had a brother by the name of uh, Jonathan Hogg. God rest his soul. He passed recently, and he studied Marvin like nobody's business. And he and I ended up on the road singing backgrounds with Genuine <clears throat> together mm -hmm. and, and Aaliyah. Yeah. And when we went overseas to sing with Genuine, G would let us come up to the stage and ad lib. And so, you know, I would do you know, I'd do my cute little ad libs and all my <laughs> all my little runs and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And he would come out there and put on a full Marvin Winans clinic and proceed to kick my ass <laughs> every night. Every night. Something about that Marvin, man. And my guy, Big Bob, who was playing guitar back in DC, quartet, he's like, you know John to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever, these two girls want to hang out with me, so whatever. <laughs> I get it. Okay, Marvin Wanda, that's who you get the vocal from. Who you getting the performance style from? Performance on style on stage on performance. Stage, yeah. Performance style on stage. It, it, like I said, I, I came up in the um, quartet. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So look, looking at those older guys back in the day, how they reacted with their crowds, and um, how they, yeah, they interact with the crowds and. How they get themselves involved? That, that all, that's all church quartet, man. Mm -hmm. Gospel like the keynotes mm -hmm. and the, um, the violineers. Uh, I, 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 I still look at, I still look at those old, old groups on YouTube now, man. Still getting notes. I'm still, I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. I'm you still got, learning. You gotta pick one though. Huh? You gotta pick one person. You gotta pick one. Don't try to get out of it. I get my style from KC. Come on, come on. I try to, I try to be nice. Yeah, you know nah, today, not, not today. Is pop your shit day. <laughs> it's your day. Now, really, because, but I car, I carry that with you know. I have just put that from KC. Got everything from gospel. You're different. So you know, I just put it in R and B. I seen you on stage. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. Ain't no dancing. No, I hate that. Now this is no. You, <laughs> no, I hate that. Now you do do some gyrating. <laughs> yeah, that, seen, that 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 comes with the. I see you do some humping. You do you do yeah, some. Yeah, gotta do that. Got to do that. You gotta do that. Uh, now. This is in here. It's here. Be right. It's right here. <laughs> it's right. Yeah, <laughs> okay, we got Casey performance style. We got Marvin Wines on the vocal. This is getting aggressive. Who you getting the styling from? The the, the drip of the artist. What they what they what they putting on. Um, we just, well, we do, like I said, we always wanted to be different. You can say the name. We say. Are, we, 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 as far as right now. No, anytime. Anytime? Anytime. Well, it was, just, it, was just, it was like, Let me say with Dalvin right? come with our clothes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We go in, who you, you think? I, I feel like who you want to say Jodeci. Who we dress like? I feel like you want to <laughs> say then, who we dress like. I said Dalvin, Jodeci. Then you damn it. Yeah. Yeah, a, come on, yeah. shit. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> shit. Get the styling from your damn self. There, there you yeah. go. There you go. Shit. But right now, you know, um, I, I, I have help, you know, with, God bless me with my beautiful wife, so she got Come good. On, she got a good taste. Come on, yeah, help, help keep you right. She got it. She makes sure. Come right. on, help make. Keep you right. She, she Come makes, on, rib. She makes sure. Yes, my rib. Come on, rib. So she helped me right now. Nah, she said, baby, nah, you ain't wearing, you ain't wearing that. Nah, nah, you ain't doing that. I mean, she had me have a fitting session every night before I walk out the door. Talk to talk. I love it. Talk to talk. Yeah. A, a, a woman, a real woman, mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. elevate a man. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. be into him, him true, his true self. There you go. There you a go. woman will do that for you. Hey, there you the go. right woman. And she always, she always um, instilled in my head. That I was like, babe, won't you um, go shopping? Get something nice for yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She said, you know what, babe? 
I can do that on my time. But right now, they looking at you, they ain't looking at me. Hmm. I gotta make sure you right. Hmm. You got you one of those. Mm. <laughs> and the church say, who yeah. Who yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. I need you to talk to my wife after this. I mean... They're not looking at you. They're not looking at you, woman. I already know what he's going to say. I know exactly what he's going to say. Looking at me. KC, he's going to get stabbed. He gonna get stabbed. I'm going to get stabbed. I'm going to get stabbed in my sleep, but it's fine. All right. Who you getting the heart of the artist from, the passion of the artist? The passion of it, yeah. like like just, just I love it. Uh, like, like love what they doing and like I'm putting they all into put, it. James like, Brown making the crowd Ooh. sweat. Prince, you got pick Michael. One. You got, okay, you can pick three. All of them. Okay, you pick three. That's fine. That's oh, fine. The Stevies. That, that list is long. You go, can you pick one or you need all four? Let me pick one. Just pick one. I swear, man. I was just talking about this too today on the way over here. Uh, James Brown. Yeah, no argument, no argument, no argument. You don't think? No, 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 no. I'm not arguing that at all. I hear stories of where James Brown used to laugh, laugh at people's performances. Like that's all y'all got. <laughs> <laughs> that's all y'all got. That's all y'all gonna do. And get out there and proceed to sweat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweat. Tell I tell you what I did one time, man. I. Uh, me and the rag on the Bible. I was just, I did it all. I did it all. Talk joke. To talk, talk to just talk. a little bit. Just, a, mm -hmm. just a little bit of mm -hmm. joke. Uh, we had a show with um, who was? Who was? I think, I think it was Boys to Men. I think we was in Australia, and um, I was. I, I, I meant for a joke, but really it didn't. It was no joke. So I'm walking to my dressing room, and I see the sign, Boys to Men. On the uh, on the door, poison man. Bring it, showtime. Champ is here. Coming out there, did I have to do? <laughs> you and, and they were closing. <laughs> you you went banged on that door. Uh -oh. Showtime, champ is here. Showtime, champ is here. <laughs> Ali Boom, are you? All them back, hey, them backstage stories, and I love boy. Them. I love them. Oh, I, listen, they love you too. I love it's, them. It's love. It's love. But it was, you know, yeah. it was, it was, it was brotherly competition. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. This is what it was. It's what it was. Especially in those days. Especially those days. Every night ain't gonna be your night. James Brown. But I, but, James but, Cleveland but said But I it. promise you, I'm gonna try to get everything you need. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time you see me. Shit, it's just like, hey, we. Just like we did, we did a show with um, Mid Condition. Mm -hmm. JoJo let him have it. JoJo said, "Y'all wore ass out." Friendly competition. JoJo told him, "Y'all yeah. wore our ass out last night." I don't care. Mm. That's how it is. That's how it's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. What no, oh, man? Look, y'all. No, none yeah. of that. Nah, this yeah. is family competition. Thing, it wasn't no man. turn they sound down a little. No, nah, no, nah, oh, none of that. No, none <laughs> yeah, of that. I'm yeah. a no. Oh, yeah, that's too no, many yeah. LED walls for you. Yeah, turn, you know they, what I'm saying. Turn them off. Nah, uh -uh. Yeah, that's a, that's that's the wild shit right there when they start yeah. taking shit away. Oh yeah, listen. Yeah, you know, I, it's, we, we we can't do that. Yeah. I want everybody on the bill to have everything they, they need. need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Even playing. There field. you go. Let's And if they need that, they need that. Let them get that. Good luck. It ain't, yeah. gonna, it ain't gonna affect nothing here. Let's cook. Yeah, there you go. Let's give. It's like this. When we're doing shows, when you're doing shows with other people, my take on it is I don't care. You go with, kill them. I want you to kill them. At the end of the day, it's up to those people that pay their, they pay their, um, they, they money mm -hmm. for those tickets to see. They didn't just go ahead and see one good act. Mm -hmm. They want to see all, all, all the acts good. Yeah, man. yeah. They want so a great if you, show. If you, if you, if you busting ass, do that. Yes. yes. Do that. It's Give not about, well. you know, well, just because it's our tour, I think we should get more. No, 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 no. Everybody got to have that. You know what I'm saying? What they Let need. them do their thing. Because when you leave a, a Jodeci's tour, mm -hmm. we want people saying, that was a good 
concert. Nah, yeah. Jodeci did good. Absolutely. I you know could have did right now. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, no, every, everybody, everybody got to do good, man. Yeah. Everybody got to do good, man. Yeah. And people don't understand, like, even the business side of it is that, you know, when it comes to putting that lineup together mm -hmm. and divvying up that money, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can easily put that money in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. But a lot of times you are carving out money to make sure that you have the right people there you go. on that show. There you go. Yeah. To carry that. You're right. Until it's your time. You're right. You're right. So when your money on the line, yeah. You better show up and show out. There you go. That's some of my money. Yeah. So I could have kept that. You better get up there, <laughs> go there and do what you, you better do. You know what I'm saying? She got to do. Yeah, yeah. Because I could have kept that. Look at Mike. We sure could have kept it. <laughs> 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 we got one more segment for you, uh, brother. Of this segment. I ain't saying no names. 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 Where you was? Who you was with? What you did? Don't say shit. I ain't saying no names. He'll be here all week. <laughs> I'm all week. Where's up? Uh -oh. So right now, talk to him. We got a special segment of the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's called "I Ain't Saying No Names," mm -hmm. where you tell us a story, mm -hmm. funny or fucked up, mm -hmm. or okay. funny and fucked up. Okay. The only rule to the game mm -hmm. is you can't say no names. Okay. You ready? Okay. Let's go. This is KC, mm -hmm. Mister Ooh Yeah, Who Yeah, however the hell you want to sing it, yeah, yeah, yeah. himself. I ain't saying no names. Would y'all put to come up with this? I put the check. Yeah, that's your story. <laughs> it's your story. Look. Oh, my story. What happened? <laughs> There's so many, man. Damn, y'all got to go in the archive. All right. We're in London. Mm, I like this already. It's starting good. In the, in the VIP section, minding our business. Everybody just chilling, drinks flowing, fans good, treating us good. And all of a sudden, who that bitch? Keep looking over at you. Oh, she's looking again. We gotta get out the club. Oh, shit. I ain't saying no name. Oh shit! <laughs> Thought I was doing. I was a. I was an innocent bystander. I was just, yeah, she was looking at me. Somebody I, got knocked out for looking I, at Casey. I didn't do nothing. I, just, <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> I use that as a suitcase. We in London. We in London. I don't know nobody. I don't know nobody in London. Hold on, hold down nobody. Oh shit! I don't know nobody in London. I use that too. I use that too. For the take, I didn't. We all the way in Atlanta. <laughs> we all the way in Atlanta. I don't know nobody in London. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna oh, give you man. a hint. No, you don't do it. Don't you do it? <laughs> don't do it, no boy. They can sue you. <laughs> oh man. Oh, listen, man. Uh, did you hear what I said? Every night I got to fight to prove my, my love. Look. Ooh, oh. did I? <laughs> oh, um, brother KC, my brother. I I just want to tell you, from man. from my heart, from his heart, man. Um, from every. R&B singer, gospel singer, that has, singer, songwriter, producer, mm -hmm. performer, that has come up under the sound of your voice. Um, we, we have been truly, we have truly been blessed by your existence. Oh, thank you, um, By your continued yeah. pursuit of perfection 
um, by your life's journey. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Your yeah. ups and your downs. Oh, yeah. And you powering through. Oh, yeah. To still be here with us right here. 40 years. 40 years to this Amazing. day. Mm -hmm. now, that's, in, that's including with the um, yeah. gospel. No, all, yeah. all, it, all, it all matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you've, 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 you've created a legacy for yourself um, that includes all of us. Mm. So mm -hmm. as you are proud of, you know, the accomplishments that you're directly a part of, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? As you stand on those stages and as you stand behind those microphones, yeah. um, also accept the credit, you know, when me and this guy stand on those stages and stand mm. behind those microphones mm. and get on those pianos and, mm. and, and entertain those crowds. That's, what that's, would Jodeci do? That, that we have a song called What Would Jodeci Do? Jodeci that's, do? That's, yeah. that's really on my yeah. album. So, oh, yeah. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. That's our mindset. Yeah. That's our mindset. That's our mindset. Yeah. So take that credit as well. That is also yours. And we will, your, 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 name, is, your name is in the annals Thank you, man. of history, my brother. Appreciate You're a it, foundational man. building block I appreciate to it, everything man. we do and everything that R&B will ever be. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. I just want to thank you guys, man, for really, um, by you saying that, lets me know there's more than four members of Jodeci. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Those other members aside the four are the people that love us. Mm-hmm. People that support us, people that um, pay for our tickets to go and see us live in concert. That's Joe. Those the real Josies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You guys, y'all the real Josies. Cause for once for y'all, y'all that heartbeat. Yeah. And Josie can't live without a heartbeat. That's right. And that goes out to y'all. Yeah. Wow. I feel like Martin at the Varnell Hill show right now. <laughs> you want to get that? Oh, Martin took it. Martin took it. Martin took it. <laughs> Don't you be? You, you could be. <laughs> Martin took it. Martin is funny. Oh, and back to you, since we got all that. Thank you. Yes, sir. I love you for everything, man. Love you too, Pop. Jay Valentine. Yes, sir. Thank love you. you. But you, I have a bone to pick with you. Uh oh, oh, shit. Come on. I called you as a tank. You know, you know, it's my um, doing this doing this album, man. You know, um, I would love for you to um, <clears throat> be on my be on this album for me, tank. I, I need you right now. What you, what you, what, you, what what you need, man? I said, tank. I, I mean, I I need that tear jerker. I need that. That I need that <clears throat> on this album tank. I got you, Mr. Darrell. I said, that. "Where's his song at?" Darrell? Where's my song? I said that, I and I have scooted over uh, so I can be on his side talking shit. Where's his song at, Darrell? I have templates with your name on it. Are you serious? Absolutely. Like, he said, he said, he said, he said, oh, my mama that I had, I had just started just putting ideas together mm -hmm. and, and I cannot think of why or what happened within that time to get me out of focus. So first apologies. Oh, right? no, 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 I have to, I have to, I have to issue that because I said, I got you. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's my word. Mm -hmm. So. In, in in honor of, of of this chastisement of you pulling out the belt. <laughs> Come on, squinty eye boy. And, and spanking me on my own pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you you tell me when and it's done. You tell me how soon you need it and we're gonna get it turned around. I tell you what. When I get back into Carolinas next week, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a call. I, I I get back on Monday. All right, let's do across something next week. Done. Did you heard? The people heard it. Now, if I can't find Casey next week, because he disappeared last time. That was me. <laughs> that, that was me. me. That was me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was me. Lonnie can fight anybody. Lonnie can fight anybody. <laughs> call logistics. It's called logistics. Um, that's done. All right. That's done. Cool. All right, I, love it. I understand though, man. You got to think about it. Hey, man. This 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 game is very busy in this game, so I get it. No, but you gotta you know you gotta make you gotta certain things you have to make a priority. But I really yeah. really 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 really, I think that touch of tank. I think I think I, I will have a winner. Done. Go make a winner. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Done. Okay. There it is. My word. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the R&B Money Podcast, the authority on all things R&B. Everything. Everything R&B. And um, we have truly, truly been blessed to have Mm -hmm. all things R&B in the building. Mr. KC. Ah. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you. R&B Money.